Well, they started just behind 107 Bentley. Oh, oh the on top of a 54 tap. car. Our Mons a winner oh. in the wall, upside down safety car. That was a tap on the rear. We couldn't quite see who it was, but that was a tap on the right rear that spun the Porsche around. And there's not a lot of extra space between the edge of the racetrack and that barrier. The barrier is not meant to be there to stop that. Well, to stop that kind of incident. Normally, you wouldn't expect it. So the 54 Dynamite, Dynamite Sport. So it's got to be a full course. 72 here, looks like it might have a puncture. I think it's a right it's rear. Yes, it is. Right rear tyre is flat on the 72 Ferrari, the safety car. And the 52 oh, as well. A 52 Ferrari is out. And that's on the exit of turn three or midway through turn three. So it's been a hectic wow. lap. And I mean, this, the Ferrari, it was starting back on the, what, the seventh row of the grid. It got involved. The 52, it was much further back. How it, maybe it was totally uh, in. Uh, yeah, another a separate incident. Another separate incident. Well, cars not sure whether or not they can go by the damaged Ferrari. You saw the 555 Lamborghini holding back. 488 Ferrari didn't. Confirmation the safety car is out, and that's not just to rescue our stranded Ferrari, but also, of course, the 54 Porsche. And, and that, that was a Monza winning car as well, the first yep. of the five endurance events in uh, the Euro in Endurance Cup. So yeah. the Ferrari and the Lamborghini and whether these two had contact or whether that's just an incidental, but both trying to get back in and out under the safety car, 555, and that was a car that started well up. Yeah, so that's Amici, Alishin in, Zaydash Kanani started the 54 Porsche. Actually, the 555 and the 72 were side by side, side, by side, on, the side on the grid. Maybe that's an explanation yeah. as to why one's got a cut down right rear. So that's a big, big setback indeed. And Four. also, also the 52 Ferrari, Nick Homerson, not in the title race, but his two teammates are, and he's been nerfed off on lap one. Now, is it just a tyre? There's Homerson's car. Well, that's going to need assistance. I mean, it's going to take yeah. a, a lap or more, probably about three laps to get that car cleared from the gravel. Well, Jim Pla, an outside hope for the Pro-Am Blancpain GT driver's title has just seen his two rivals, which is the car Bertolini Macchios, that's the car of Nick Homerson, they're off on the very first lap of the race. So Jim Pla suddenly, from being a rank outside hope, at least he survived and he's still got all the wheels on his wagon. Yeah, but that car, that Maruichi behind the wheel, is down in 39th position. Yeah. So a lot of, obviously, the other cars that are in the battle are going to be affected majorly by the incident that occurred but here we are seeing the field just to the right of the picture you can see that a lot of rubbish on the racetrack that might be partly from when the Porsche made contact with the barrier on the left of the track as the driver saw it on the right of your screen so that's been thrown onto the racetrack in addition to whatever rubber might have been on the outside of the racing line. Well we've had lots of racing already this weekend two Porsche